Howdy Grubbers, good morning. It's a fine Sunday, I hope it, it, it finds you well. Today we're gonna have some fun with carbs. You know, sometimes, well, a lot of times, uh, I feel like carbs, I love carbs. Well, who doesn't? I mean, <laughs> go to the grocery store and there are whole aisles. They should just change the name to carbs, carb department. Um, I mean, the cereal aisle, I mean, you go down these aisles, you just can't even believe it. The cookies, the crackers, it's just wall-to-wall -wall carbs. So we like carbs, but carbs are, in, in, in large quantities, carbs are really bad for you because they're, they're sugar and it's bad for your liver and bad for everything. So in moderation, as I like to say, uh, we can have carbs. So today we're gonna have some something fun. And we could pull out a bag of Doritos, which I don't actually have, or some chips, I do have some chips. But now, we're gonna make garlic knots. Garlic knots are a blast and they're really good and they're really easy to make. And we're gonna use the air fryer. We're gonna use the air fryer. So this is gonna be quick, simple and quick. Now what do I have here is I have a piece of thawed dough. Now, this was originally a full pound of dough that I got fresh at Publix in their bakery. They have pizza dough fresh. And if you're in the Southeastern US and you got Publix, their bakery kills it. Absolutely fantastic scratch bakery. The breads are nuts. Uh, they have an incredible French hamburger roll. If you wanna have a hamburger, cheeseburger, and you have a Publix, get the French hamburger rolls, fantastic. So I buy the pizza dough, it comes in a pound. It's fresh. I bring it home. It's too much. It would make a pizza this big. So I portion it. I cut it up. Either are three or four pieces. This, I think, is a third. I believe a third. And then I put it in a plastic bag and I freeze it. And so then whenever I have a hankering for carbs, carb treat, I just pull out one a little ahead of time so it can thaw. Now what we're going to do with this, which is thawed but had been refrigerated, we're gonna let it sit out. Let it sit out for a few hours. And what's gonna happen when we come back, this thing's gonna look like a pillow, like it's gonna be ready to explode. And that means all that's happened is as it's warmed up, the yeast, which has been sleeping because it's been frozen and cold, is gonna to start to come to life and do its things with enzymes and emit gases. I don't know what the process is, but it's gonna expand and the dough is gonna get puffy and nice. And from that dough, we're going to we're gonna make garlic knots in the air fryer. So we're going to be back in a few hours and uh, have some fun. Well, I'm also very sorry, very sorry. Uh, I'm, one thing about garage grubbing, it's a real low, uh, low overhead operation, meaning I don't have a crew. I don't have a, a director. I don't have a uh, videographer. I don't have an editor. I, I don't have any of that. It's me. I have a camera and I have a garage and a couple machines. I neglected to show you the dough. This is the pizza dough. It's in a plastic bag. I don't know that I needed to show you that. I would assume you might know what that looks like, but just for, for full disclosure, this is what we're looking at now. And in a couple hours, it should be looking more like a very puffy pillow that wants to get out of the bag and we're going to let it out and then the real fun will begin so be back in a couple hours okay i thought that uh while we're letting our dough finish its little proofing party in the uh, over here on the left side i thought we'd get our garlic going because we're going to make our garlic butter and uh yeah, so what I'm gonna do, you can, if you have a garlic press, you can scr you know, smash it, it's fine. I don't have one out here, so I'm just gonna use my uh, box cutter and just, uh, you know, just start to, you know, mince it. I'm gonna mince it. Just keep feeding it in while I chop. It's gonna be actually kind of nice and chunky. And it's always nice when you're eating a garlic knot to have a, a nice chunk on the top, you know. I'm getting close here, a little bit. I always lose some. A little bit more. It's flying all over the place. Okay, so we got our garlic. I would call that minced. It's like a razor blade. Watch it, what I'm doing here. Wanted to be any um, question about what we're doing. This is a paint stick. 
And you know, this is one of the great stirrers. You can use it as a, as a tongue depressor if, if the need be, but these things are fantastic. So that's gonna be what we stir our, our garlic butter with. And I, by the way, added a little oil too. Um, I like to make it a blend of oil and, and butter. It's, butter is so rich, you know, and the, and the oil tends to break it down a little bit, which I, which I prefer. So anyway, my hands are covered with garlic. Well, I'm gonna reek for a week. This is good. So what we're gonna do, obviously with this, it's going to go in the, uh, the microwave for, you know, 20 seconds or so just to melt it. And then at the end, we're gonna pour this lovely butter right on top of the hot garlic knots, and then we're gonna dust them with a little Parmesan cheese. We're back. If you remember here, a couple of hours ago, what we had was a piece of dough like this. And you see what happened? A couple of hours later, this thing's become almost a pillow. Uh, you know, I'd made this once in the summer in the garage and a few months ago, and it was must have been 95 in here. And this thing almost exploded. I. I it's pretty pretty good. I, I it may have been baking just sitting there. People are baking bread. They, they're always covered in white, you know, in flour. There are flowers everywhere. And I don't have any flour out of here. And, and there's another trick, um, though I'm not saying flour isn't the proper way, but this is a shortcut. I'm gonna just put a little oil here, just a touch. It's gonna help it when we, we drop it down on this piece of, I guess it's a piece of plastic. I don't know what it is. We're gonna open this thing. and hope it doesn't explode. Now here's the, here's the thing you gotta keep, oh, that's nice. Uh, it's sticking to the plastic, of course, because it's in plastic. So you can play around with it if you want. You try to reach in and pull it out. I've done that, it, and it's okay. But what I prefer to do is take a pair of scissors here. Where are my scissors? And just snip the edge here. I don't know if you can see this. Here, let me do it this way. Snip the edge, right? And now I'm gonna kinda just Try to turn it inside out and plop it down. Plop it down. See, see that? Oh, you almost, <laughs> you almost missed the, missed the board. Back boy. Oh boy, that's, that's some happy dough. Now I don't know what this imperfection is. It was probably on my workbench, but that's, see, that's ready to roll now. Um, and what we're going to do as soon as I get my hands cleaned up here is. We're not gonna smash it, not gonna use a rolling pin. It's been done, people do that. I, I feel like you overwork it and you make it tough. And there are debates about that amongst the, uh, the bakery experts, but I'd like to pick it up and let gravity work. So I'm gonna roll it over here and so it doesn't stick to my hands too much. And I'm just going to pick it up and, and try to work it into kind of a, almost a pizza shape, kind of flat pizza shape. And as it, as the gravity does its thing, there's garlic on it already. Oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be garlic infused knots. So you can see what's happening here. I'm just kind of turning it and letting gravity stretch it. And don't worry about the shape. It's gonna be elongated because the dough was, originally was elongated. It's not gonna be a perfect round, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be. And this doesn't have to get real thin because we're gonna basically, once we get it laid out here, oh, it got tangled there, we're gonna cut off chunks and turn those into knots. Okay, so I think we're close enough. Again, we're not making pizza. So there you go. So just lay that out, lay that out like that. See, and you can stretch a little bit. Of it. Again, it, it's, if you made a pizza out of this right now, it'd be about three inches thick. So that's good for now. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna get the, uh, oh, there go my toothpicks. Damn it, I bumped all over the, oh, there's my WD-40. Um, I, you know, I need to reorder this, this uh, garage, I guess garage. Okay, so we're just gonna cut off a chunk. And I'm not gonna take you through all this, but just cut off a piece, you know? And basically stretch it out, make it into a rope. You know, just like that. Just like that, okay? Just like that. There was something in the oven, a little oil or something, so don't, there's an imperfection here, but don't worry about it. It's nothing bad. And then you just basically tie it in a knot, and I'm terrible at the knot thing. I was never very good at knots, but, and, and these are gonna be very imperfect, but that's kind of a garlic knot. It's really not a knot, but it's okay. And then we'll do another one, okay? We'll do another one, okay? And so 
I'm gonna do probably, it looks like a 10 of these maybe. And so you just try to try to roll it around and tuck it under and make, there, that's a little bit better. Yeah, it looks like a knot. I think that's like a, a half hitch or something. Okay, so we're gonna do, what is going on here? Well, we are in the garage. We're gonna do the rest of these, it'd probably be a dozen. And then what we're gonna do next, we'll put them, we'll actually put them in. We'll put them in a the basket, which of course has been oiled. Of course it's been oiled, but you don't want them to stick. So give us a few and we'll get back to the next step. We'll fast forward and there's, we have it. We have two, four, six, eight, nine. We have nine knots. It rhymes, sort of. Okay, great. So we're gonna take these now and just, this one's a little mental. I don't want to do it there. A little messed up. Okay, we're gonna pop them in the drawer. We're gonna just lay them in the drawer. I did give it a spritz of oil. It's important you do that because you see these, you see these little, these perforations, these air holes. Uh, if you don't oil it, they're gonna wanna really get stuck and they're gonna stick a little bit, but they'll pop in. So we're just going to place them in the basket. Don't, now nestle them together, uh, don't touch them, but don't spread them all over the place because what's gonna happen is when they, uh, bake they're going to expand and kind of bump into each other which is which is actually a pretty cool thing and then you can kind of pull them apart okay this none of this is critical here um but that's what you're basically going to have uh after you put them in the pan and this and don't worry about the shape i mean unless you're you know some kind of a you know designer and expert in spatial you know aesthetics or something it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to give him, of course, one more. What happened to this guy? Shot. Just a touch of spray oil. And we're ready to go. So these are going to go into our air fryer. And you don't have to preheat it. I'm going to give them eight minutes and check them. Because once again, you know, these temperatures vary around here. And I don't want to burn them. You do not want to burn the knots, okay? Golden brown is what we're looking to achieve here. So we'll be back shortly, see how we're doing. Oh, there's our magic sound. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, baby. Let's see, we're doing pretty well. Let's see, we're doing pretty well. Those look like some happy little knots. Let's see if I can get them in the pan with that. Oh, they look nice. Oh, they're hot. Oh, my God. Now, next step. More importantly, or as important, just give this about 20 seconds. In the microwave. These look really, really nice. Oh yeah, they look really, they came out really well. I'm very, very pleased. Okay, that was actually 10 minutes. It went off at eight, I looked at, I'm giving two more. So you're looking at just about 10 minutes there. You got to watch them. You got to watch them because you can't, you just don't know, you know, microwaves or rather uh, the toaster ovens, you know, they vary, obviously. How do I say these things that you already know? Okay, we're going to just pour this over our knots. Beautiful butter and oil loaded with garlic. And then, of course, you could sop up all you want. Mm, mm, mm. Check that out. And finally, yeah, 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 just put a little parm on there. Yeah, it's a little parm. Added, added flavor, gives a little salt. Well, there you have it. Uh, how easy is that? They look very nice. But again, we won't know until we actually taste them. And that's going to be a few minutes because they are really hot. And I don't want to burn my tongue again. So but I'll be back in about five and we'll we'll take a we'll take a bite. Okay, grubbers, are you ready? Are you ready? This is it. It's been about five minutes. And I'm letting things cool a little bit so I don't scald my mouth. And um, we're just gonna the fun part about a garlic knot is you get to kind of you know pull it apart like that. Look at that, and we're gonna daub up a little of that butter. Let's see how it is. Oh, my. oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at that. Can you see that? It's just coming apart. Chewy, 
Oh. Oh, I mean, come on. You must be kidding. The garlic, the butter is dripping on my fingers. The bread is so chewy and crunchy on the outside. Carb treat, carb treat, brothers. Get your dough. Mm. Oh, I'm a mess. Sorry, I was disgusted. I'm in the garage. 400 in the air fryer, eight to 10 minutes, keep an eye on them because they go fast. This is not an oven. Remember, it's an oven with a turbocharger inside. Little Parmesan, wow, that got some, we got some serious garlic going there. I mean, wow. You know when garlic burns? That's a lot of garlic. You could tone it down a little bit. I put three cloves in. That might have been a little bit much, but this is why there's a, several aisles of carbs in the grocery store. I'm not far ready. I'm going to kill this. Thanks for joining, Grubbers. It's really a pleasure to have you in my garage today. And we'll be back with something else really simple and really good and probably a little more nutritious. Mm. Oh.